good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for tuning into my stream. My name is Fenix Nomai. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if this is a return trip, welcome back. Today, for real this time, I have tested this extensively. So help me, cowboy Christ, if this game does not work after everything I've done, I am going to use my angry words. We are back again today with Fallout New Vegas, for real this time. I have installed everything. I've uninstalled it. I've reinstalled it. I've un-reinstalled it. I've made sure this game works. I booted it up. I loaded in. Nobody had any hair. I had to go and find more stuff to install to make sure that people had hair again. And that I can play the game and go into the DLCs and everything. You're gonna load. So help me God, you're gonna load. All right, I even made a I even made a new save to prove it. Oh, thank you, God! <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, we are so back. We are so back with the greatest game ever made. Yes, I say this knowing full well everything I had to do to get it working. I don't care. Peak fiction. Best game. Best game ever. Oh my god, we are so f uh, Can I say it yet? Are we are we are we in an we're, we're so freaking back. How about that? Oh, ho, 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 look at it. It's been so long. Oh, my beautiful boy. My, my beautiful boy. Uh. Oh, cheese and crackers. I am, I am, I am gosh darn excited to be back. Take me, take me home, country roads. So... Not only are we back... Oh, did I never... Did I never put any of my weapons away? Also, um... So I wanted to talk shop real quick. Uh, I remember when we played this before. We played through... Uh... Said you grabbed them? I... I'm not sure what you mean by that but uh real quick no username danny phantom uh youtube darius 4117 and decay bay welcome to the stream i'm happy to have you all here we are so back oh my god i can't believe it's working um so am i already under am i within weight can i go to uh Oh, that's right. I sold, like, everything. Uh, I sold everything so that I could get the two-step goodbye. And then I didn't like using it because I was constantly getting flashbanged. Uh, so that can go in there. Thermic Lance. Uh, that gun. That's just a normal plasma rifle. That can go in there. Uh, maybe we'll keep the alien blaster just in case. And then armor. Uh, I think... I think I'm good with the armor I've got right now. So we are very lightweight. Did you grab them gloves? I don't... I don't know. What gloves? Danny, Danny Phantom, I am intrigued. What glove... Do I have the... Wait. Did I never get the pimp boy in this? Right, 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 right. I had another save because I was going to go back and get the pimp boy. And uh, Right, I remember now. Um, this Boon Squad, my boy. The only companion we got because uh, I forget why. For some reason, I got really invested into Boone, and I wanted to finish his story. Insulting. I... I am so confused. 
I think they're referring to the golden boxing gloves and the Lucky 38 casino floor. Oh! I'm sorry, Danny Phantom. I, I did not understand what you meant by that. Okay, uh, yeah, the golden gloves. I don't believe I ever grabbed them. Oh my god, where, where are they? It's been way too long. Are they upstairs by the terminal? I, I'm, I'm gonna take a quick little jot around here. Oh, I see there's a lot of things we haven't stolen yet. I mean, we already killed, we already killed Mr. House, so we can take literally anything we want, and it's not, oh, the sunset sarsaparilla. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you guys. I know we played through this before in third person and using unarmed. Do we want to stick with that, or can we go first person? Um, it's not going to be a problem until dead money. But Dead Money, I would very much, I think, rather play through in first person. Bar area. Okay, got it. Thank you. Can I... Can Alright, we're gonna go over here and jump up and over. I'm so excited just to be playing this. Like, whatever else happens today, I got this working again. I am, I am so stoked. Okay, this... Oh, and there's more... How did I never take the There they are. And the boxing times. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what else? What else have I not taken? Give me everything. Uh. You have to get them gloves. I got you. I got you. We got them gloves. Oh, now we're ready. Now we're cooking. Do we want to go just beat someone up with these gloves? Oh, but before I go doing anything, I want to ask you guys, like... Do we keep it third person? Or do we go first person? Uh... So this is happening, but I realized, I, I figured out how to fix it. Check this out. Bam. Bam. And we're good now. I just have to refocus the window. That's all I have to do. And then suddenly the stuttering stops. Oh, jeez. I am, I am so thrilled. All right. I want to find someone to beat up with the golden gloves real quick. Who's, who's catching these hands? Stream froze? You're kidding. What the fuck just happened? Hold on. It's fro- Oh, for God's sake. Fen, the screen is frozen. When you did the window thing or whatever. Are you fucking... Okay, hold on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh, I can fix this. Alright. How about now? Are we back? Can we... Thank you for visiting New Vegas. Why is this happening? What have I done to deserve this? Okay. Just... 
just hold on. I can fix this. All right, let me, let me do this. Okay, now. What if I simply reopen it? What about that OBS? Yeah! Okay, so now we know how to fix that problem. See, this is a learning experience, one step at a time. Okay, and I'm gonna try to do the window thing again, and if it freezes, I'm, I'm gonna be a little salty. It, it, yes! Yes! Oh, we're so fucking back, yeah! Oh, I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. All right, we're going to have to do that window thing a few times, aren't we? Okay, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's picky. It, it's, it's a one step, two step, three step at a time process. That's fine. That's fine. Um, how about, how about we just go to the DLC? So I've, I've made the executive decision here that we are going to do the DLC in a sort of narrative order as opposed to release order. So instead of doing Dead Money, Honest Hearts, Old World Blues, and then Lonesome Road, we are going to do Honest Hearts, Old World Blues, Dead Money, and then Lonesome Road. So I think it's time we head up to Zion and uh, meet with Joshua Graham and the boys. But before that... Hi, Ricky. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho! God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using Psycho. But, uh, just talking hypno-theoretically here. Hypno-theoretically. suggestions? Oh, what is it the fantastic... They asked if I had a degree in theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. Like, I'm always so conflicted on how to handle Ricky. Because on one hand, I feel like we're doing the right thing telling him to fuck off. But on the other hand, I feel like it's funnier to let him go with. One of the best New Vegas mods is the one where an immediate airstrike will come out of the fucking blue whenever an NCR soldier says the nuclear winner quote. Um, that, that sounds like the, whatever, Divine Retribution mod for Skyrim whenever a guard says, Oh, I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow to the knee and then uh, lightning strikes them and they die. Were you still going with unarmed in third person or not? That's what I've been asking. I've been asking you guys, do you want to see... Do you want me to continue third person only and unarmed only? Just me, I save, then drop 40 C4, then set it off. I've done that with um, with the Nuka Mines before. Um, I set up a whole bunch of Nuka Mines, or Bottle Cap Mines, that's what it is, excuse me. Um, just like a ton of Bottle Cap Mines, and then I shoot it with a fat man. Um... It could be neat do the whole game in third person since you never have before. I guess. Listen, I'll do as much of it in third person as I can. But if I need to swap to first person for whatever reason, I, I, I'm gonna. Um, 
All right, I'll give you I'll give you the fixer. Fixer? Never said I wanted to kick the habit. Guess I can use it when I run out of the good stuff. How much? That much for a dose? Fucking robbery! All right, here's your money. Don't spend it all in one place. All right. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy in a vault suit. So what? What, uh... Where'd you get it? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Jed says it's got maps and shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs Get to the go. Slayer. Not that I the didn't slay all that already. Oh, the, um... What is it? The the rat slayer, the varmint rifle. Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. Bullshit! Ain't nothing wrong with my pit boy. I, I mean, pit boy. Yeah, the pit boy. Look, this is a sweet gig for me. Don't go fucking it up. What are you after, anyways? I'm just talking shit, man. The Slayer at Brock Flower Cat. Okay. You know, I could use the gun. Um, maybe we'll go get that before. You know what, just, you know what, come with. You just come with. I travel light on purpose, okay? But fine, I'll tell Jet I'm carrying less so you can carry more. What an asshole. Yeah, whatever. A hundred pounds? Oh, fuck off. All right. Fine, I'll be back can't leave now anyways carrying more than 100 pounds also i'm gonna do the window thing again uh hold on all right now it's fixed and the stream froze again i'm on it i i see it Oh, this is going to be a fun, this is going to be a fun, uh, playthrough. At least once we get, at least once we get into the DLC, alright? I think it should be okay. Alright. God damn it. All right. Here we go again. All right, we're still good. We're still good. We're still good. Fast traveling to the cavern. Um, did I ever find it? Uh, it's down near Searchlight, right? So there's Camp Searchlight. Um, let's just go to Searchlight. That, that's close enough. No, no, we're not actually back. Uh, this is hell. I guess I'm just gonna camp out here. A, we back? We back? Are we back? A, we back? Yeah, all right. Uh, what is happening? Even when I fix everything in the game, 
suddenly the internet goes out. Like, you can't tell me that I haven't somehow been cursed by Todd Howard for all of the shit that I've talked lately. Like, I, I am flabbergasted at, at how things have gone. But I'm going to go for the holy hand grenades, and then we are going to beat our feet up to Brock Flower Cavern. I don't know if I've ever come through here before. Did I ever, uh, did I ever start this nonsense? Is this the right one, or is it the church across town? I do believe it is the church across town. Uh, that is, that is how it is looking, at least. I may have already, oh, yeah, no, I've already been through here. Um, I think I may have already gotten the, the holy hand grenades. Uh, I'm a former altar boy. Want me to exercise your stream? Uh, you know, I, an exorcism is always appreciated. Wow, you have the qualifications, Nito. Not gonna lie, I just made the same mistake. Oh boy, what's happening out here? Can there at least be some ghouls still around? I wanna, I wanna fight something with my punching hands. We'll still go check the other church because I want to make sure I didn't accidentally leave anything behind. If we can take the holy hand grenades to Zion, um. I already know what I'm using them for. I, I already have a plan in mind. But yeah, we definitely we definitely did some work on the ghouls here. Otherwise, we would have run into at least one, I think. We can't stick around too long. I'm not trying to uh, start glowing in the dark here. Hey, fellas. All right. Give him the old one, two. Wait, let me get him with the... Oh, wait, I remember how to do it now. Yeah! Oh, these gloves are not going to get me very far, are they? I remember starting this run off with just the boxing tape, and... Uh... Oh, doggy, that did not go well for me. There's a reason I think I've been sticking with the power fist for so long. I'm gonna punch out the geckos because, ah, uh, funny, but, oh yeah, we did, uh, we did in fact already take the holy hand grenades. What did I do with them then? Uh, they're not in my inventory and I don't think I sold them. What did, uh, what happened here? Alright, but now let's get out of dodge, uh, just a little too radioactively hot here for my liking. Uh, it's just a turret. Alright, so Brock Flower Cavern. Also, I'm going back to the Power Fist. We we gotta do some more damage here. Do I have any Radway? No, no I don't. That's alright. Hardly the biggest issue. You use them on accident. I do ammo glitch to have infinite. Oh, hey fellas! <laughs> Goodbye, fellas. Uh, thank you, and thank you. Just in case I decide to help out the NCR for whatever reason, I would do that. Alright, um, I think it's more to the west? I think? Oh, god, it's been way too long. Is that it? I see a little, a little notch over here. Is that it? Go for a little jog here. I miss, I miss having Boone around. I remember that uh, he did take a lot of the kills I wanted to get, but it was just nice to have the company, you know. Hear him talking about how he was gonna die all the time, and then sometimes he would die, but then he would get better. It just made the traveling more friendly, you know. Oh fuck me! All right. No, that's fine. Where's Boone when I need him? 
I, I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind the Assassin Squad so much. It's just that I don't really have the health for this right now. Maybe... Can we, can we reschedule? Can I pencil you guys in for like 20, 30 minutes from now maybe? Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. I have an idea. All right, I don't know where they... Good old fashioned Sunset Sarsaparilla Prospector. Don't worry about Caesar no more. It should worry about improving the lives of regular folks. Sweet mother of Abraham Lincoln, the Prospector. I forget how the rest of that line goes, but I know the Prospector's gonna help me. Where did they go? Um, are they gone? Did the, did the prospector actually scare them off? <laughs> ah, thank you, prospector. I was going to post me praying over the stream as proof of exorcism, but I realized nobody would understand my language. Just know I did the whole shebang. Darius, you are a credit to the institution. Thank you very much for your dedication and your support. Oh. Okay, hello? Who's... Who's woo-wee-wooing in here? I've got a fist. I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Good thing I just drank like 30 of these. Maybe it's spawning more. Um, not, not more radiation, though. I, I do not need more radiation. I've had more than enough for today. I've gotten my daily value of rads. I, I'm quite all right. All right, where's this gun again? Um... I think I'm getting confused uh, with the Paladin Toaster. I remember the Paladin Toasters in a, in a cave, I think, with Nightkin and Nightstalk. Hey! That's a big rat. Oh, it's a rodent of... It's a rouse! Uh, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. I gotta get out the big guns for the rouse. All right. Come on, then. You're going one-on-one -on -one with the chosen one. Is it dead? Okay, it's dead. Giant rat meat. Cook me up a little rouse steak. Yeah, buddy. We're eating good tonight, boys. Holy shit. Never mind. The, they, they are... The rodents of unusual size... Are of a bigger size than originally anticipated. I have perhaps underestimated the Rouses. Oh god. Oh god. There's so many. There's so many Rouses. They're eating my bones. Alright. Okay. Okay. It's a lot of rouses. That's a knife. That is not what I'm here for. Oh, but the magazine, though. Thank you. Uh. Immediately thought you have to go all the way around. Okay. I'm sorry. I got... I got caught up in fighting the rouses. I... I Oh, there's more of them. All right, you're not getting the jump on me this time. I'm in, I'm ready for you. I came anticipating. Okay, they broke my leg. They broke both of my legs. Okay, wait. Whew. You got to be prepared for a rouse fight. If you're not ready, 
if you don't show up ready for a, a rumble, ready to tussle, you're not leaving here alive. The Rouses, they take no prisoners. There is only one rule in the Rouse rulebook. And it's to have fun. I think that's all of them, though. I think... I think perhaps they are all dead. I'm hoping they're all dead. Um, I perhaps neglected... I may have forgotten how much damage that they could do. Um, Alright, I think... Is that everything? That should be everything. Now we have to go back around because I'm pretty sure I'm in the wrong place. Uh... Man, I thought Fallout was just a game about a happy guy in an abandoned world. Believe it or not, not quite. Uh, kind of remind me of the Royal Rat Authority from DS2. Hmm, Obsidian Lawsuit when? Oh, I, uh... So, of all the Dark Souls games, I've played Dark Souls 2 the least. Um, and that's just because I kind of enjoyed Dark Souls 1 and 3 more. Uh, so... I yeah, I, I totally went the wrong way. I did something very stupid here. Um, I only beat Dark Souls 2 once. Uh, so I do remember the Royal Rat Authority. But... Did I... Okay, no. This is... Alright, we gotta, we gotta keep going to the right. And there's that... See, now we've made a little, little marker for ourselves. So we can find our way. It's like breadcrumb trails, but dead rats. That's too many rats for one cave. You need less rats. Oh, there you are, my beautiful, my precious beloved. Oh, I, I forgot about picking things up in third person mode. Oh, if this is what the people want, then I will do it, but I don't. I don't enjoy third-person mode. Oh, but we have a... We can't sleep here. We cannot sleep on the bed. We can take the radiation suit and the sunset sarsaparilla, though. So, pros and cons. There's enough medical supplies here. I think we'll be okay. I'm just kind of... I'm, I'm, I'm feeling things out. Doctor's bag. Delightful. First aid kit. Good. Yes, good. We can, We can work with this. Anything else here that I need? Another magazine. Alright, I think we're good. What what weight am I at right now? 112. If only I had a shitload of Nuka-Colas to drink to get underweight to go uh, up to Zion. But would you look at that? Oh, and I should probably rat away. Yeah, that should be enough. Now we are getting out of here. Please, please don't. Please don't re-irradiate me. That was all the rat away I had. I just, I just want to go home. Or at least to Zion. Uh, DS2, the least God bless game is more scuffed than your streams, Keck. It really is like having another ruby around. Uh, from the beginning of the cave, stay right the whole time. Gotcha. Thank you, Danny Phantom. Um, right, so we go this way now, and there's the door. Is the Legion Assassin Squad still going to be outside? And if so, is the Prospector still here? Doesn't matter. If I can get out of here fast enough, I think we are going to be A-OK. -okay. Um, here we are. That's what I'm looking for. We're heading to Zion, baby. All right. We're underweight. We've got our hat on. We're ready to fucking party. Oh, do I need to talk to Stella at all? Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. Yeah, do you know how many rats I've punched today? I'm built for tough, baby. Earning my keep, 
Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. Does New Reno still yeah, exist, or did that get retconned too? At least the scenery changes. Tell me about New Reno <laughs> before they uh, forget about it. There was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Say less, I'm there. By a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor is off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? I mean... It certainly sounds less bad than that. Uh, how, were things better in Caliente? Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes. Ah, uh, yes, Caliente in, in Spanish means than I care to Caliente. Protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the '80s or the White Legs raiding. It was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Fair enough. Uh, added low effort rat slayer meme in Discord for your pleasure chat. Oh, by the way, for anyone who is interested, the Fenix Discord server is open. The invite link is in the video description as well as in the channel description. It's not all stuff about the channel, though. We have sections for memes, anime, gaming, shit posting, whatever you want. So if you'd like to join, we would love to have you there. There's my little plug out of the way. New Vegas lore got retconned. Uh, thanks to uh, the new Fallout show from Bethesda. We, we've talked about it a few times. Um, they, they retconned the lore... Because the show is apparently now canon, and the NCR fell apart before the beginning of New Vegas because Shady Sands got nuked um, by Vault Tech because they come back because something something family drama Bethesda doesn't know how to write. Uh, not gonna lie, I think it was rigged from the start. Ah, ha ha ha! What's up, the Missing Grin Ninja? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Also, Nine Iota. I'm so sorry, I didn't. Uh... So Chad is kind of borked. On, uh, on the streaming software, so I've got chat pulled up on my phone right now. What's the difference? Raiders is Raiders. Raiders is Raiders. I swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them, so we turned for home. Made it Jesus back to Christ. Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. God damn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. You know... Used to be they raided north... Awareness is good. ...time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. All I hear about Eventually, the show the is destroyed the bridges across the people Persian simping River over it, but this sounds very stupido. Oh, yeah, no, the show is a uh, duty dog shit ass. Um, but for some reason, um, people do be schlobbing on that Bethesda knob and uh, saying that any dissenters are just New Vegas fanboys that can't handle change because expecting faithfulness to you know the lore and the canon and the existing games as being a fanboy i guess and not not wanting them to retcon everything for some shit ass amazon prime family drama is someone finally put down that sick motor runner son of a bitch uh, hey hey what are we drawing weapons for you guys good everybody okay over there ricky i know that pit boy doesn't fucking work what are you tapping at all right, let's go to Zion. Your friend, heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. 
Jed Masterson has has such a distinguished voice. Okay, let's. D I. Oh. Uh. Oh no 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 not like this not like this. Uh, do we want the? You know what? Let's get a little bit of lore here. Let's ask Jed what's going on, and then we'll head into Zion. Well, it ain't good. I tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords. The works. It sounds like New Vegas. Some places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Degenerate tribes, raiders, warlords, psychomantis. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy, jacked up on kin, violent as hell, and not too. How is that any di? The worst of the eighties. Won't be passing through their turf on this. How is that any different than the fiends? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You got to get yourself a new Is it worse than the Halo show? No way is it worse than the Halo show that was awful. Listen. Um credit where credits due. At no point um does Fallout have a scene of uh, Cortana getting cucked. Um, at no point does that happen in the Fallout show. Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. Not to worry, Jed. I'm sure you will make it back A-OK. -okay. Now let's head to Zion. Just like that, huh? <laughs> you got guts. I'll give you that. You sure you want to jump in blind? Ain't got no questions about where we're going or why? Nope, I don't question anything. If I remember right, I started this playthrough with one intelligence. Let's go! Are you now? <coughs> you know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masters. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready? For now hold on, Mr. Masterson. Let me double check and make sure I've got my one of a kind plasma cannon on me. Uh, why the weight limit? I can carry so many goddamn guns. Do you, you, you see this bad boy right here? Can carry so many types of boxing gloves. You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Uh. Hold on, let me double check. I'll be back. Yeah, reckon you will. Let me double check. Did I, did I make the build that I think I did? Eight intelligence? How the fuck did I do that? And my left... Oh! Oh, that's right. Oh, I remember now. Oh, fuck me. So the normal build I make when I when I play New Vegas is I always go nine strength, nine luck, one intelligence. But because I really wanted to do a different type of run on stream that I've never done before... Uh, I made my luck super low. I think I gave myself lower strength and I buffed it up a bit. Um, and then I did the whole thing third person and unarmed because that's a run that I haven't done before. So this is not my typical run, which is probably why I'm, I'm so disoriented coming back to it. Are you here to jar at me a while longer? Are we ready to get No, sword? sir, Mr. Masterson. I got my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon right up my ass, and I'm ready to go to Zion. Yeah, baby! This time, we ain't coming back for a while. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. Let's get to getting. First... DLC.
We're gonna go meet God with Joshua and the boys, baby. So you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Dead has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks. Sent out missionaries to talk to them. Came back with the Book of Mormon. Seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Mal Pace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Gray. Oh, that boy. That Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. I guess I can't blame him. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. I like to imagine... Had to make an example for the others. To show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch. I'll finish that thought in a minute. And thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the waste. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe uh, Honest Hearts is better than Lonesome maybe Road. Fight me. Like might be because of sleep or else. Demon can fit in my room if I tried. Or maybe Joshua uh, Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally Old World found Blues his way back home. And Dead Money are peak for me. I agree. I, I like Old World Blues and Dead Money the best. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks. The missing dimension of your Harry Potter must be a spell right. or something. I don't know. So long as. I know as... your feet hurt. I know you're tired. Oh boy. I need everyone's mind on the we'll deal with that in a minute. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed? Those descents we made through that side canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? I'm gonna go sleep. All right. Have a good night, the missing Greninja. Thank you for being here. I'm gonna try to fix the thing, and if it, and if it stops the stream, then I'll do what I do. Hold on. Okay, we're still good. Oh boy. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? It's not a problem. This is a bit of stuff from the original version of Three that got cut. Joshua Graham, the burn man, was originally the hanged man. Having him as a companion was like having the pariah dog in two. Oh, no. I swear I heard something up ahead. God damn it, ambush! Come on, people! Uh, Watch hey, what if we, what if we... You just pissed off the wrong guy, and that means Ricky... Yeah, get him, Ricky! Ricky, get, get your, get your gun out. He is kind of way. Okay, he's still got an almost full bar of health. Ricky, you get up whenever you feel like it. Ricky. Ricky. Ricky, you gotta get up. Now's no time to be sleeping, Ricky. Well, this is a. Things have perhaps gone just about three kinds of tits up, haven't they? Um, fortunately, everybody left all their shit right here. So, uh, looks like it's my lucky day. Uh, now, the only thing is with the frame rate doing the kind of shenanigans that it's doing. Oh, no, now I'm over encumbered too. All right, we gotta, we gotta do a little fix in here. Um, I can't repair or maintain anything. 
fuck. Okay. Actually, no, that's extremely good. I needed that. Uh, repair those, and we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat some. Ba -ba -ba -bum. We're gonna drink ten bottles of dirty water while the tribals look on in horror. Um. Time to start punching, I guess. All right, get down here so I can kick your ass. All right, nope. Oh, unarmed is not the, uh, this was not the smart way to go. That's fine though. Nothing I can't handle. Uh, I will take the trail carbine drink. And the hunting shotgun. Good. Ricky got dickied. Look away and look back and the HP bar will do a magic trick. <laughs> Alright. I think... Hoy. Hoy? What are you doing? There's still white legs back there. You Tammy? Wait. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. I mean, you have six strength. Your noodle arms can't really do much. Yeah, that was the dumbest possible thing I could have done for an unarmed run, huh? Yeah, I don't need strength or endurance. I need intelligence for my punch run. That's what, uh... Who is this Joshua? I wasn't really paying attention when Jed was talking earlier, and now he's dead. Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong and safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. Lead the way. Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. The Eastern Virgin? Whatever I follow that up with is going to be stupid, so I'm just going to leave it be. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to fix this again. God, please, the stream, just let it, let it not freeze. That's all I'm asking for here. Uh, we're going to wait until that's out of the way. All right, here I go. All right, it's fixed. And the stream's borked. Why? What is this, what is this pattern? What is this cycle that we've gone into where either the game is fucked or the stream is? It's always gotta be one, or the internet, when, when the stream and the game work fine, the internet has to have a problem. Oh, New Vegas, my beloved. You're a masterpiece, but sometimes I feel like this is an abusive relationship. It's doing it again. I'm gonna try it again. And now we're good. The game is running, the stream is running, we're cooking. Follows Chalk away, adventure awaits. We follow this path for a while. Nice view of the river. Nah. Nah. Oh, come the fuck on! Please. Don't hold the <laughs> 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 that was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? Okay, can I try like what if we what if we what if we turn down the uh the load fade? Like that 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 seems to usually help out a bit, yeah? Let's just let's just drop these down a bit and maybe it'll stop being so angry with me. No it uh, eh? 
eh? Green light. Red light. Green light. This is so fucked. <laughs> Like it just is what it is. Or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff if you want to look. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Did you know that the Yao Guai encounter in the PS3 version of the game completely breaks here and just doesn't spawn despite Fallout Shock still stopping you for it? I did not know that, but I absolutely believe it. Oh fuck. Hey. Um I mean, I'm already here. I'm not just gonna, you know, turn around. Fighting time. Oh, it's fighting time. Fighting time's over. Oh, fuck! Fighting time resume! Oh, God. Alright, wait, wait. I'm punching the ass. Ah, you're alright. Look at you. You got, um... Yeah, you're at full health. Come on. You're being a little dramatic. It, oh, it's like I'm traveling with Boone all over again. Alright, is this the top of the... Yeah? Do I have raised senses? Have we... Or no, we have to find a lookout tower for that. Oh, no! Yeah, well, well stacked cairns. You can spot all kinds of landmarks from up here. Look, I'll show you. Yeah. Wow, I feel like I'm really looking right into the soul of Zion uh, Canyon here. This is, uh... Is it always this magical? <sighs> New Vegas. My beautiful beloved. Never change. So, there is, more than anything else, there's one thing I want to get... Uh, while we're in Honest Hearts. And that is the Survivalist Rifle. Oh wow, this is a whole new level of scuffed. New Vegas really is something special. Uh, the PS3 version of New Vegas is completely fucking broken. Uh, the traditional ass slap Dark Souls taught you well. A beautiful sight, truly breathtaking. <laughs> Best game. Best game ever. I'll play it a hundred more times. I'll play it a thousand more times. I don't care if it's the most borked game in existence. I live and breathe for this game. Uh, I should probably take the smart way down. I should not... I should not go the way that I'm going. But as absolutely super beyond mega borked as, uh, as, the, as the valley is here, as the canyon is here... I want to read through the entire survivalist story because I feel like that is one of the it's one of the best characters made. Sedilla TGM and jumped it. So I've made it this far. That that's not the line, follows Chuck, but all right. Um I, I've made it this far without using the command console. I don't wanna I don't wanna start now. But I do fully honestly believe that the survivalist is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, NPC characters uh in all of Fallout, and we never even meet him. Shamans say our enemies' souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious about fighting white legs. I didn't even get to hit him, you just... There, I got to punch that one. Now we both got one, Follows Chuck. Don't be greedy. What's, uh... See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Sick. We're looting it, then. Uh, there's nothing in here worth looting. There they are. Well, they're who? Who? Might as well tickle them with a feather. Well, th then stop doing what you're doing. 
Don't tickle them, punch them. Hit them, club them. You violence. Is he, is he alive? Follows Chalk, are you still out here? Still cooking? Oh! Yeah, no, I see, uh... Yeah, I didn't hit him. That was all follows Chalk. Jesus, dude. Hang on. You're going the wrong way. You're going the wrong way. No, 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 no. I think I'm going the right way. I, I... Listen, everything's loaded in over here. Obviously, this has to be... Look at this dumbass. Not even a fully grown rouse. Never stood a chance. Eh, personally, I like the smart death claws more. 10 out of 10 would date one if I could. Pretty sure Follows Chalk is an essential NPC, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and what is in here? See, I knew this was the right way. I'll take the 44. Never know when you need a gun. Oh, now we have to go back to where nothing is loaded in properly. Such is life. These are the things we just have to deal with. Which is crazy, because I remember having the game running at one point where it didn't do all of this. And I just don't know how to get back to that point now. Like, this is simply where we're at. Maybe, actually, I do have an idea. Um... I don't know how well it would work, but it is an idea. I'll try it later. Down this path to the north. All right, for now though, we've got places to be, people to see. Should probably get back to it before I keep getting distracted. So, the Eastern Virgin, this is where we're supposed to be to meet Joshua, but also somewhere around here. Got to keep the white legs out somehow. Eh? Where is it? Oh, right, traps. I do Oh, I didn't do it that time. The like sploosh when you jump into the water. Something about it is just, like, it, it, it's satisfying. It's good water sound. I like it. We do be splooshing out here. Uh, yes, 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 yes. This is where we need to go first. Hel Hello? Hello? Oh, fuck, that's right. I have a perk that makes me stronger outside. Um, shit. Uh, what do I not need? What can I get rid of? Repair that. I don't really... I don't really give a shit about... There, that's fine. That'll do. Like the shadow of... Alright, so this is the first cave that we need to visit. Uh-oh. Uh, there are going to be a lot of traps, landmines, trip wires, uh, shock wires. There, there's going to be a whole lot going on in these caves from now on. Oh god. Oh, I, I, I missed the first landmine. All right, that's okay. All right. Uh, cave fungus. Here's another tripwire. I think that's it. <sighs> that's what I get. That's what I get for saying that I think that was all of them. I see now the error of my ways. Uh, let's... Let's use up some Sunset Sarsaparilla and squirrel on a stick, purified water, pork and beans, Nuka-Cola. 
I want to lower my weight here. I want to use... There we go. Oh, and that also irradiated me. Do I have any more rad away? Of course not. Fuck. Uh, but this... This is what we're here for. Okay, I need to go on a... I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? Yes, everybody actually lives inside of a thunder lizard. You're not allowed to not live in one. This is what we're here for. Year 2077. October 28th. Is this not the first cave? Oh, did I? Am I already out of order here? Damn it. Okay, yes, I think this is the first cave. All right, let's do that again. Uh, how many mods do you have? I played modded too, so I can't recognize what's supposed to be different. So I don't have anything that's supposed to change anything meaningfully. I've got like eight mods, and all of them are just stability mods. Uh, so I've got, uh, Yoop. I've got, uh, Anti-Crash. I've got Tick Fix. I did have Stutter Remover, but then the game wouldn't launch, so I got rid of that. Um, what, what else was it? I got the DLL override. I can't remember everything off the top of my head, and I don't want to, I don't want to alt-tab out in case it fucks up the stream again. But, this is the first terminal for the survivalist story. October 28th, five days on foot, still can't sleep. Outside, it looks like nothing happened. Sky looks wrong, that's all. Hike back to overturn Nat Guard truck near Tokerville? After blisters heal, maybe. Looks like USGS team was researching something here in cave. Cleared out when bombs fell. Left equipment behind. Probably thought they had families to run back to. October 29th. <clears throat> Cher, must have said this out loud a thousand times walking here. Maybe writing it will feel more like you heard. You were right. Or is it Cher or Char? I feel like Char is, is, is more... Like Charlotte? I'm gonna assume that's it. Let's do Char. Char, you were right. I was north of Spanish Fork. Took the 77 along Provo Bay to steer clear of town. Would have been home in an hour. Engine died. Truck just stopped. So did a Chrysler's another lane. Knew right away. First nuke hit SLC inside a minute. I was looking south. Lucky man! Flash behind me so bright, world looked on fire. Old couple from the Chrysler starts screaming they can't see. Didn't watch you die, Char. Saved my eyes. Counted 12 more flashes the next seven minutes. Ground shook each time, 18 seconds later. When nothing hit for half hour, took a look. Globe of fire where you and Alex died. Didn't kid myself. Didn't know what to do. Grabbed my pack and rifle. Saw to the old couple. Sat them up against car. Let them hold and comfort each other. Told them I was going to get help. Everything be okay. One bullet through both heads. Instant. Five day hike back to Zion. You told me. Stop running off to the wild. Man belongs with his family. You were right. You were right. You were right. You were right. Wasn't there to hold you and my boy. Died without me. Never touch you or him again. 
should shoot myself. What I deserve. Can't. Maybe soon. October 31st. Black rain falling outside. Geiger jumping. Should let it kill me, but bottling water from back of cave all the same. November 2nd. Sounds dead outside, but can't look. Geiger goes lethal 15 feet from cave mouth. Do the math. Radiation goes down before water runs out or I never leave this cave. Year 2078. January 1st. Happy New Year. Two months in cave. Still lethal outside. Don't get it. In army, they said two to four weeks cleared fallout. Less than a month's water left. Been mopping condensation off cave walls. Ringing shirt into bottles. Trading calories for H2O. Food stocks holding. Thanks, USGS. If there was even a chance I'd see the two of you again, I'd run outside. January 10th. Sounded like windstorm out there for two days. Radiation down 500. What happened? January 15th. Took a peek. Snow. It glows green. January 28th. Radiation low enough I could risk short exposure outside. More important, cave stream now drinkable if I use rad drugs. January 30th. There's nothing alive out there. So that is the first survivalist terminal. Uh, there are, I believe, six in total. I want to read all of them. I want to make it a point to find and read all of them here in Zion before we leave. I know where to go to get the gun that I want, but I want to do it authentically by reading all of the... Um, all of the terminals. Yes, it was six. It just gave me a little notification there. Uh, and here we have a unique weapon, the compliance regulator. Fuck, I gotta... Sorry, sometimes it's just easier to go into first person. Uh, activate... Disarm, disarm. Uh, the survivalist story is the saddest story in Fallout history, in all honesty. It. That's what I mean, though. Like, the survivalist story is easily one of, if not the best written character in all. Have I never used a workbench before in this playthrough? Jesus Christ. Out of, like, all of them. The Survivalist, I think, has one of the best written stories of any of the NPCs. I love it. Like, it's tragic and sad, but, like... I don't know. There's there's just something really special about that kind of writing for a character. Also, I just remembered I have a light. I could have just turned this on the entire time. Um, and maybe I would have been able to see a bit better. It is what it is. I've already, uh... I've already ran into God knows how many landmines at this point. I'll remember for next time, probably. Yes, one of the best Fallout games, by the way. Hi, Fenix. Crimson Hitman, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. All right. So now that we've gone through the first survivalist cave, let's finish doing what we were doing and go meet Joshua. Uh, what are you guys up to over there? You alright? Just going for a swim? Yeah, it's okay. Take your time. I really like the Dunwich lore. Oh yeah, the Dunwich lore is crazy. doing over there you 
You're not hit. Okay. Okay. Thank you, two bears high fiving. Hoi. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. <laughs> I forgot I took sneering imperialist. <laughs> Oh, fuck. All right. Um. Oh, I'm, I'm tempted. But I have all of this intelligence for the first time ever. I may as well use it. Uh, yes. I am looking for Joshua Graham. I definitely understand what you're saying to me right now. I'm not... The, the intrusive thoughts are not winning right now. You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. Big Just intelligence. In high place, Arkay. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. <laughs> it's right there. It, it's, uh, it's right there. Um, I won't. I'm resisting. The intrusive thoughts are not winning today. We're, we're gonna be good in Joshua's house. I love Joshua Graham. He's another amazing NPC. You wise for Auslander. Bro, that perk is unhinged. I took it because I wanted the extra damage against raiders and fiends, alright? I, I was not planning on using the racism perk in the valley. All right. There he is. Do you know how many guns he's loaded I today? Have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the white legs beat us to it. White legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for and you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. Ah, he did it, boys! He said it! We got him! Uh, how do you know so much? The dead horses are capable scouts. Nothing passes into or out of Zion without my hearing of it. Came here to talk with the new Canaanites. Happy trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the new Canaanites, almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other new Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now, not with everything that's going on. Uh Listen, Joshua, whatever you need, I'm 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 here to help God's strongest soldier. What what can I do? You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate? These instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. 
Uh, the funniest thing to me is that Kaisar is actually the correct way to say it, but even Joshua says it like Caesar. Okay, so can we actually talk about that real quick? Um, because I have a story about that from high school. Um, because it was, what was it? It was either junior or senior year. And naturally, I had been replaying New Vegas as I tend to do on a non-stop basis. And, uh, you know, I'd recently been playing New Vegas and we were talking about, you know, the Roman Empire. And, uh, we were talking about, we were talking about Julius Caesar. And I remember at one point I had to answer a question about, uh, Caesar and I said it, uh, Kaisar, because the New Vegas brain rot is in the deepest, darkest parts of my brain at this point. Uh, and I got fucking laughed at by, like, the entire class. And the teacher was like, Erm, actually, uh, the Kaiser is German, and, uh, that's more around World War I time. Who we're talking about is Caesar, and it's like, no... I played New Vegas. If there's anything that would be objectively correct about everything, it's got to be Fallout New Vegas. The history books are wrong. Historians are a bunch of dork-ass losers. And you are all a bunch of jabronis for daring to doubt me on my knowledge of this subject. I, I, I trust New Vegas. Um, but I think about that a lot. That's one of those times that's like, I knew it was, I knew I should have just said Caesar. I knew it was Caesar. I knew I was supposed to say Julius Caesar. But I was like, uh, 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 Ave, uh, Kaisar, uh, b Big Brain, 800 IQ. I played the funny RPG. I know how to say this. <sighs> I think about it sometimes. But, uh, listen, I don't have any questions. I got you. I got you, Thank homie. You. Follow Shock and help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Uh, Joshua, my boy, may I perhaps, may I perhaps have a gun? Welcome back. Oh, actually, uh. What was that you were saying about another courier? Who could you have possibly... What did you mean about that? Caesar would never admit this openly. But he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentari and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory. But maybe this one survived. Oh, that's right! Boone and I had a little Doomslayer moment where, uh, we jumped the entire fort. Um, hey. Hey, hey, good buddy. Hey, Big Josh, do you want to know what happened to, uh, Kaisar? I punched his fucking head in. Sick as fuck, right? I have to admit, it's hard to believe. That even after all he did to me, all he tried to do to find and erase me from this world, no doubt this will be good for the Mojave. I can only hope Arizona and the tribes don't suffer as the Legion falls apart around them. Yeah, listen. Um, I'm not siding with the Legion. They're not... They're not gonna last very long. Good. You're doing God's work. Whether you believe it or not. We, we did it! He said, we did it again. He said it again. We're doing God's, we can't expect God to do all the work, but we're doing God's work. Joshua himself said, that is some of the highest praise that I could possibly ask for. I, I feel accomplished. I feel that I have made the right choices in this game. Um, don't worry about the fact that I may have killed the, uh, you know, stable ruler of New Vegas and installed my favorite robotic sycophant as the new overlord of New Vegas. Don't worry about any of that. Aside from all of that, we're doing God's work. Thank you, Joshua. Uh, pray, God, what are you talking about? I am a new Canaanite. 
We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work for tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. I'm sure you guys are familiar already, but uh, do you know about the video on YouTube of Joshua Graham reading the entire Bible start to finish? In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Every day we closer to our judgment we must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same for many of us the road is a difficult one but the path is always there for us to follow no matter how many times we may fall what like those AI videos uh, like Master Chief telling you you're doing okay yeah I thought they actually, I thought that one of Master Chief being like, hey, you're doing all right. I thought somebody actually paid his voice actor to say that on Cameo. Uh, the Joshua Graham reading the Bible one, though, I'm, don't quote me on this. I don't think somebody actually paid Joshua Graham's VA to read the entire Bible, but it would be so fucking sick if they did. My favorite is the one where Joshua coldly threatens the listener. Yes, the religious indoctrination of people via Joshua Graham is so funny. Uh, listen. I'd, I'd listen to the gospel from Joshua Graham. I'd let him tell me about Jiminy Criminy and the good Lord Jeebus. Every day. Some days are harder than others. Nice guns. You been lifting, Brody? Yeah, I'm Myron. Better call a veterinarian. Those pythons are sick. In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. I punch the people. Are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork have been using them for years of course the dead horses have their wooden war clubs and even the sorrows have their yao guai gauntlets this type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago learning its use is a new canaanite rite of passage uh anyway nice gun should be the start of the yaoi route with josh here <laughs> thing though on one hand he's super religious so would he go for the yaoi route but on the other hand he was part of the legion so it's possible he might go for the yaoi route i i don't know i wouldn't say that i am the acting war chief for the dead horses they look up to me for such matters but i only have the authority they give me Daniel is the spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. Hey, remember when they retconned Myron inventing Jet? Did they did they retcon that? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, Myron is a he's a little freak, and I kind of hope. Uh, if anybody got removed from existence in the Fallout universe, I I hope it was him. But did they really retcon that? In four, yep. Oh, for fuck's sake. Four isn't canon. 76 isn't canon. The show isn't canon. Bethesda, suck my ass. Uh, do you have anything to trade? Maybe some guns, perhaps? We do. 
Though the White Lakes destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, MCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of Legion coins. I killed so many goddamn Legion. Like Joshua, you have you have no fucking idea how many of them I killed. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm gonna get the, the slide and the silencer because I do want to get a 45 at some point. I fucking love these guns. Oh, actually, we can sell some of the other shit we don't need right now. Uh, so how about you take that, that, that. Mmm, some of these, some of those, and give me a 45. And three caps. Beautiful. Thank you. Can I ask you some personal questions? We're coming back. We're coming back to the Yowie route. Right now, I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Maybe there will be time later. Damn it! Fine. God be with you. I'll go help the shitty one, and then I want to learn more about you. Uh... So, actually, before we go too far, I remember there is another... Which way do we go here? Um... Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. They jingle, jangle, jingle, jangle, jangle As I go riding merrily along I don't think he knows that one. Did I go the exact same... F Where did he go? You know, I could have just... If it wasn't Joshua, I could have just stolen the guns. I don't want to do that because he's great, but I don't want to steal them. Holy moly, Joshua's packing. I mean, are we, are we still talking about the guns? Am I lost? I might be lost. I think I, okay, so this is the way we came in. This is where, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go through here. We're gonna go through here. I think I remember... Am I in the wrong place? This might be the wrong cave, actually. This is probably the wrong cave. God damn it. But yeah, where did Joshua go? Can we... Can we talk about that? Because he just fucking vanished. Oh, shit. Oh, we're still doing this. Uh, okay, so yeah, this was definitely the wrong cave. This is not where I thought it was. Um, Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? Nope. Never seen anything as bad as a Yao Guai before. Hey, hey, hey. This was the right cave all along. I just forgot. And we're in combat? Who are we fighting? What are we doing? Who, whom, whom, homestead of? Oh my God, that's a Cazador. That same Uh, follows truck. Use your, use your club. You do do the thing. Um. I gotta. I don't have any ammo. Inside we go. Okay. 
Uh, I want to try something real quick to see if it's going to help with the, uh, like, pop in and pop out. So, pardon me for just a moment here. I'm going to turn all of this back up, and we are going to quick save, and we are going to be right back with the game. Bought a gun and not the ammo. Classic Fen. This is like the first stream of mine that, that I've actually been playing something. What do you mean Classic Fen? I mean, it is something that I would do and that I probably have done before. But I know that. How do you know that? All right, hold on. Wait a minute, let me cook here. Uh, and then what if... Check me out now. What if I drop that down... You think V-Sync would affect it at all? Maybe V-Sync is is absolutely borking it up. All right, let's see if this helps. I want to believe this might help, and if not, maybe dealing getting rid of the V-Sync might help. It looks a bit more chopped. Oh, it is still. Okay, let me try. Let me try the V-Sync. I can just tell how you are by the last stream, first impressions and all. That's, that's fair. I can't even argue that. You got me there. Um... Let me try disabling the V-Sync here. Yes, I know I'm once again fucking with the settings when I said I was done with that. I'm sorry, but I, I think maybe what if I can fix it, right? What if I can make it better? I just want to believe, okay? I just want to believe that maybe, maybe it'll work. All these mods, something's got to work. It's still happening, but I feel like we're losing frames less now. So maybe I lowered the resolution. Maybe nuke all the LODs in the opposite direction. Let's... So about... The, oh, object LOD. And I am going to raise actor fade. Um, all right, let's try that. I mean, I... Nope. Nope, still happening. All we really did was lower the quality of the game. Uh, but we also lowered the frame rate drop, so... Uh, eh? Pros and cons. I hear some odd it still looks good inside. I think when we're inside, it looks fantastic. It's just kind of outside where everything is still borked. But what are you going to do? It's New Vegas. These things happen sometimes. I, I'm not too worried about... Hey! There's our special boy. Look at him go. That's why we love him. Okay, so I googled the issue. Apparently you can edit the Fallout I and I. Oh? Would you care to elaborate? You have my, uh, you have my interest, Darius. If there's a way to fix this shit, um, I am very, very interested. For now, though, let's get to helping Josh and the gang. Let's go search the ruins of the scout bus. God, if we can fix this... I will lose my fucking mind. Ah, the Eastern Virgin. What's the phrase of house sweet house? House sweet house? What are you talking about? What? Like this? Like around here? It's it's your house? I guess that makes sense. But why would you say that? What kind of live, laugh, love shit are you on, Follows Chalk? What are you cooking right now? I'm not telling you to stop. I'm just saying I don't understand. Bear trap. 
Not today. I've already had my legs repeatedly broken by giant rats. I'm not trying to have them broken anymore. He means home, sweet home. But why though? Why 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 did he say that out of nowhere? Uh and in the INI file apparently you have to look for F split distance multi and edit it. Okay, hold up. We're trying that shit right now immediately. No, I if this could fix the the pop in pop out, I want to fix that sooner rather than later. Um so hold up. One second now. Uh, do I need to get the, uh, do I need to get the spinball image back out? Is anybody going to mind? All right, Fallout, default, I and I. We are looking for the F split distance malt. Hold up. Let me, I'm looking, I'm searching. F F F F F F F F F This is the right Where is it? Okay, hold on. We're cooking here. Uh first things first, I'm going to do this and that. Okay. And now we're going to come back to this. We're going to control find F split distance multi. There it is. Uh, change it to four. Right now it's at 0.75, so perhaps raising it to 4 will do something good. Uh, there we go, we're gonna save that. And we're gonna load it. If this works, I will lose it. Everyone cross your fingers, cross your toes, cross your crucifix for, for Joshua Graham. Crisscross. Hello? <sighs> nope. Unfortunately, still borked. Oh god, it may actually be worse now. Listen, it's not like I wasn't already just throwing shit at the wall to see what would stick. So like, it it's fine. See this? this All right, we need lunch boxes, right? Lunch boxes and the compass, that's what it was. Repair of 30. There we go. Perfect new compass. Uh, and we're not going to think about all of the small bodies in the bus. Hmm. I need... Oh, I need a lot here. I need more science. I need more lockpick. I need more sneak. Fuck me running. Um... We're going to raise our... There. Those three are all at 60 now, and I will continue to work on them. Um... Oh, this is... This is depressing. I don't like, uh... I don't like being here.
Uh, apparently everyone else claims it's unfixable, but there's also a mod called High Detail LOD, which technically doesn't fixes the issue, just replaces the LODs. Uh... I really don't want to have this be another, oh, Phoenix tries to get New Vegas working stream. But my body is now disappearing. Um, which... Uh, I feel like it's getting worse. Do I take the time to install? Apparently the problem stems from the engine being stupid and not knowing if to use low poly or high poly LOD so it just flickers between the two. That makes sense, but it is, uh, frustrating. Alright, you know what? We call them picnic killers. Don't really know what that means. Who does? Alright, here. Give me five seconds. I'm gonna find it. I'll even... Just, just for you guys, I'm gonna give you... It's back. It's back again. It, it's back. It's here. There you go. Let me install this real quick. God willing, it doesn't destroy the game in the middle of the stream. Maybe just go back into the I and I and drop it back to 0.75. But if I do that, I feel like my suggestions are making things worse. But what if they make it better? Um, what is the name of it again? Um, high Detail LOD. Give me one second. We're going to try this. And if it works, uh, I will be quite pleased, I got to say. All right, New Vegas, high detail, LOD. There is no mod here for that. Uh, let's go with Hold on. We might have something here. Uh, that one has... I think we have something here. LOD gen. Okay. I see. Okay, this is extremely good. I have found something here that is definitely what we need. This is good. This is very good. Right, so I have those. Oh, we are, we are saved. We are saved. This is going to fix shit. All right, and then lastly, So in order to use this, I have to 
outside. Okay, got it. So, our degen. Good. We have we have it fixed. And now some mods are redundant. What the fuck do you mean some mods are Oh, because I installed it twice. Why am I like this? Okay. Now Oh, I have to get rid of Sonic Spinball. Shit. I'm gonna wait to do that until after we're loaded into the game. Right now, just enjoy Sonic Spinball being on, on the screen. Ruby's not even here. I cannot believe this. The Sonic Spinball sh uh, stream, she doesn't show up. Dude. <laughs> Fucking god damn it. Oh, maybe it's because I uh I never changed the INI file. I okay, that's my bad. I'm stupid for that one. I'm sorry, this is a here, we're gonna bop, we're gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna change back the INI file. Uh because you know, I don't think sometimes. All right. Your Honor, I'm going to plead whoopsie-daisy on that one. That's my fault. I'm sorry. Uh, fuck, what am I looking for again? F split distance malts, that's what it is. Okay. So we've saved that. We've fixed everything. Everything is okay. You know, I feel like this is something that we wouldn't have to do with any other game. Do the, uh, trial and error fixing it in the middle of the stream. Um, but I think it, it adds a little bit of charm, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of class, a little bit of character. It adds flavor. It adds, it adds character. Search the Zion Fishing Lounge for walkie-talkies. All right. Goodbye. Oh, I feel bad because this one looks like dog meat. The gecko didn't, though. I'll punch a hundred geckos. I don't give a shit.
looks good on this end so far. Um, you gain the animal control perk. <laughs> well, it's still bad, but at least it's still in the distance. Yeah. You know. I'm still searching for ways to fix this just in case. Listen, Darius, if you can find something, I will be extremely grateful. I would I would greatly appreciate uh, if you can somehow find something. Oh my god. That... Oh. It has perhaps moved up. Uh, I'm falling through the bridge when it disappears. That's... And I fell through the bridge when it didn't disappear anyways. So, th that... The hole in the bridge was always there. Who knew? We're doing fine, I think. It's all... It's all part of the experience. I will say, I played this recently on the 360, uh, and it was fantastic. But the thing is, once something breaks in a certain way on the 360, you're just hosed. Like, there's no command console to fix it. I if it breaks, that's, that's how it is. Um, oh, hello. Oh my good lord. Oh, that's a dead horse warrior. Uh, how about this? There we go. Now what if I just chin check the brakes off of the white legs? I was... I can barely process what I'm looking at right now. Oh, that's a dead horse warrior. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Um. Oh, my God. This is hell. Thanks, guys. Whatever you did, um, I could barely comprehend it. Thank you. Please let me in. Just get me in here. Oh, my God. It's so much better when we're not outside. Like, look at how good everything looks in here. For as long as I remember, the dead horses have thought the places of the old world were taboo. Doesn't look so spooky to me. Yeah, it's because all the scary shit is still outside. Who would have thought? All right. Uh, magazines, gun cabinet. Full. Crack this bad boy open. And take our walkie talkies. Alright. So that's another one down. Now all we need is what? The f lunch boxes? Yes. And the medical supply kit. So. Oh, God, that means we have to go back outside. You found the key to the locked cabinet, the one that I already broke into. It's sketchy outside. Yeah, at this point, the only thing you can do is lower tree and distant object LODs by a lot and ignore everything that still goes bad. Well. Let's see what happens. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> At least they stay gone most of the time. What if we... Uh...
Beautiful. This is what we like to see. It really didn't help any. It, like, that did nothing to help. I'm just rolling with it. I'm not... There's nothing I can do about it. Maybe if I change the texture size, would that do anything? I, I don't want to keep troubleshooting, right? Like, I don't want to... There, what if we did a small texture size? Nope. Didn't help. Uh, it is what it is. Can I at least make it through a fight? Can I get through a fight without suffering it? That's a that's a good test of where we're at right now. Oh god. Help. Is that a shish kebab? Where did you get a... Whatever, it's my shish kebab now. If in doubt, just ignore it, just as Todd intended. Yeah. Listen. All I'm saying is... Hey, buddy. All right. Take care. All I'm saying is if the studio that made the best Fallout ever was given, you know, more than a year to make it and uh, more than a minimum budget, I don't know, maybe, maybe these things wouldn't be happening? Is that a hot take? Bro went shh, I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> uh, things are looking pretty okay over here, actually. Things could definitely be worse in this, uh, in this part of the world. I, I can live with this. The caterpillar's mound. Let's go exploring back here. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine and dandy back here. The Narrows. We're not supposed to be here yet. But, what if we do it anyway? Uh, what is in here? Eh. So this is where the other tribe, the Sorrows, live. I'm sure they will be totally fine with a stranger just running on in and uh, making themselves comfortable. Yeah, like, there are dead horses here. It's fine. Sweet Flower Cave. I don't think this is one of the ones we're looking for. Let me double check. Maybe. Maybe. Just a mole rat. Whoa. Here we go. They're, they're still just mole rats. Gotcha. Follows Chuck. Don't get too excited now. They are just mole rats. Bro's giving warning like we're fighting a gang of death claws. Whoa, here we go. One mole rat pup and two normal mole rats. What are we going to do now? Oh, two mole rat pups. I'm sorry, if I knew that, I wouldn't have doubted him. I wish he gave me warning about that other pup. What if he got the jump on us? Okay, so basically why it's mildly better is that Z-fighting, what your issue is called, happens when there's a conflict between picking two different LOD models. So if it's set to low, it happens less, but still happens still better than Fallout 3. 
Huh. Why did they give it such a badass name, though? Z fighting sounds like. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. I'm not actually here to talk to him. Um, but tell me about the Father in the cave. Have you not heard of the God of the New Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. Yeah, that doesn't sound right, but um, I'm not going to question I'm it. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. His knowledge of the Father is greater than my own. Uh, then I will look forward to our next speaking. Yeah, me too. Did the uh, corpses to the cliffs? You know what? Let's just let's just move on. We're looking for uh, we're looking for survivalist caves right now. Mostly because I don't want to keep looking for the other stuff we need to find. I just can't get over Z fighting. That... Like, that sounds like a Dragon Ball term. Like, oh yeah, the when the Z fighters were Z fighting. Oh, that was badass. Instead, no, that's what happens when the fucking LOD can't figure out what it's supposed to do. Is this the right cave? Is this the cave nobody's allowed to go in? No, this is the very normal cave that everybody is allowed to go in. I don't want to be here. Damn it. Okay, over here, I think. It's also very hard to tell with, um, with things going as they are. What is, uh, what is this one? Crossroad Cavern. This also feels like a very normal cave. How about that notch across the way? Maybe that is a forbidden cave. I, I want to go exclusively in the cave that nobody's allowed to go in. Why is that so difficult? Alright, this looks good. This looks right. Alright. Up and over... Is this it? Half mouse cave? There's no cave here. Oh, is it down there? Can I see if there are handprints on it? Um, I don't think there are handprints on it. Worst comes to worst, now that we found it, we can fast travel to it later. I don't think that's the right cave, though. Maybe... Okay, what about over here? There's there's something over here. It's times like these that really just make me want a TCL. A little TCL and all of our problems are solved. You just made a Jeff the Kill You picking caves based entirely on vibes. I, I simply do not vibe with some of these caves. That's why they're no good. Um, I want to go in the spooky cave that is apparently going to send me to the... This one. This one is a good cave. This is where we want to be. Oh, yeah. Now this, this is, this is where we, this is where we want to be. All right. Oh, yeah, we're cooking now. Doing my best to make sure Follows Chalk doesn't have a terrible time in here. Alright, I, 
believe, left. So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Yeah. Oh, do you know what's in this cave? Do you know what's here? I do. It's the Desert Ranger combat armor. Oh, fuck all this other nonsense I've been wearing. Put that good shit on. We are officially dripped up. I shit my pants when there's too many people in the elevator. How do they actually enjoy caving? I've been caving before. Um, it is exactly as stressful as you would think it is. Best armor, A, drip. Just wait until we get the riot gear armor in uh, Lonesome Road. However, uh, hey, buddy, I need you to carry some shit. Well then, let's get to trading. My thoughts exactly. Could you just take maybe... Maybe that guy, and that guy, and that guy, uh, and that guy. And how about... That guy, that guy. Uh, I'll keep that one. You can have this one. Those... All of these, and and those. Oh, and that one too. Take that one too. Hey, you uh, you're looking snazzy now. I didn't say you could do that, but you know what? It I think it works. I think you're pulling it off. You can have it. Uh, and I'm also pretty sure, actually, I think we went out of order. I think this is the wrong terminal. 2096. Fuck, we did skip one. I'm not reading this right now. I want to go get the other terminal. And then we'll come back to this one. Uh, because I sort of maybe kind of know where the other terminal is. I just need to find it. But no, I'm, I'm dead serious. I want to read all of the survivalist entries. Okay, so this is... What is this? Stone Bones Cave, and I think the other one is, like, right around here, uh, to the east of Caterpillar's Mound, so I'm heading there now. Alright. So we're gonna head east, maybe that notch is the right one. Check us out, though. Damn, we look good. All right, has anybody seen a cave around here? Has anybody seen a spooky, scary cavern full of dead bodies and explosives? I just, I, I'm just asking out of curiosity. I definitely don't intend on doing anything forbidden or not allowed. Oh, fuck! Whoa, 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 whoa. Follows Chalk, I gave you the good armor, go do your thing. Fucking Lydia, LMAO ain't even essential. She's essential to my heart. Serrano, waifu for life. Who that cheesy response, physical hurt me. <sighs> not. Fighting time. I, yeah, not the bugs. This is almost as scary as the mole rat pups. They are big ass mantises though. They are uh And with the uh 3 frames per second going on, it's hard to know if I'm even hitting them. We haven't found the cave though. Mark P, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Oh god. Okay, I know where we are now. I need to heal up real quick. Let's Let's do some stim packs. We've got enough. 
And now let's go get in close and handle the plant problem. Oh boy, we uh We have a lot to uh to deal with right now. Vault 22 Dwellers Guard Camp. Oh shit, Follows Chalk is down. Oh god, that's why he's down. Oh, uh, that's a that's a that's a spore carrier beast. Um Oh, this isn't good. Okay, okay, um... We have to handle some problems here. How about some healing powder? Let's eat ten bags of healing powder and some mole rat. We're gonna sprinkle the powder on the meat. Give it a nice little... Nice little... Seasoning. Oh, fuck. This was, this was dumb. This was a dumb thing I did. Um... Follows Chalk, I gave you, I gave you good armor and this is how you repay me, damn it. Just die before the, the, uh, the, where is he? Where is the spore carrier? He did a lot of damage, I want to use vats on him. I want to make sure I'm prepared to handle the problem this time. There you are, you big idiot. There you go. I got something for you. There we go. And one more for you. The mod followers like Inigo are my favorite. Don't talk mod followers to me unless you downloaded the orc femboy follow. Oh, no. It's horny beyond belief. Be warned. Apparently punching plants is a bad strat. Who would have thought? Listen, I figured they don't have any hands. How are they going to fight back? Um... Very well, actually. They they fight back quite skillfully. Oh, and we're not done yet. Why is everybody sneaky beacon around like it's gonna do anything? And why are there sirens going off like we're back in Silent Hill? <clears throat> Did you miss all of those tomahawks? All right. Okay. I'm glad to know that gecko was over there. That was perhaps not what I was... Uh, what armor do you have equipped right now? This is the Desert Ranger armor that you find in the Stone Bones Cave. We actually just got it. Uh, hold on. Here we go. Yeah! Looking good, right? That doing anything for you? Straight dripped out in Zion. Now that I think about it, why are spore carriers here? Who's who's to say? Who knows why? What a what a good question. I wonder if that's going to be answered. I wonder if that'll be uh, cleared up for us. I certainly wouldn't know why they're here. Definitely, definitely not. Speaking of why are... Uh, that doing anything for you, my friend? You don't know what kind of art people make of that armor. What? What do you mean by that? What the fuck do you mean by that? What art do people make of this armor? I, I I would kindly ask that you elaborate on that. What do you mean they make art of this armor? Are people horny for the Desert Ranger armor? Oh, those are Yao Guai. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 look at that big horner, though. Whoa, 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 Okay, wait. I got it. Hey, big guy. Um. Follows Chalk. I don't know how to tell you this. Ha 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 ha. 
Um. Mmm. I think you have bigger things to worry about, my friend. I'll take care of this one. If you would perhaps, uh, would you like to maybe watch your bag? Oh, oh, lordy. Feels good to be doing some action. The big horner didn't even get involved in that. You're not gonna do a damn thing. Big Horner bull, more like Big Horner bullshit. Uh, are they horny for the armor? Three words, Ranger Keeney armor mod. I'm now going to stop the stream and we are all going to listen uh, to Joshua Graham read the Bible from start to finish. Um, we will now be spending, uh, how long is it? Like, several hundred hours. We're not going to play this game anymore because you are all sinners. And, uh, we're gonna listen to Joshua Graham read the gospel to us. Ranger Keeney armor mod Jim and Christmas. Fenix, do you have the Lonesome Road DLC? Yes, I do. We are actually... So, I did... A playthrough of the base game of New Vegas before. It was actually my first uh, series. It was the first stream I ever did on the channel. And we're just now finally coming back to play through all of the DLC. So we're going to be in this order. We're going to be playing Honest Hearts, Old World Blues, Dead Money, and then Lonesome Road. So that's probably going to be coming up in, I want to say, maybe a week. Depending on how long it takes to get through the other DLC. Especially with the frame rate going as it has been. The Bible doesn't forbid Ranger Keeney armor mods. I should know I went to Catholic school. Then what does the Bible say about Ranger Keeney armor mods? Do I want to know what the Catholic school taught about Ranger Keeney armor mods? Are these questions that I should ask? I am astounded I made that jump. Yao Guai Cave. Oh, this is not the, uh, this is not the right cave. This is not the right one. I think the cave we're looking for is down by the water, and it's something like Angel Cavern. Did I already find that one? Uh, I guess we could just stay down in the water and uh, run around until we find... Uh-oh. Hey, fellas. My armor condition is low. Fuck. Um... You know what? New plan. Okay, I've crippled myself and I've done almost no damage to them. This is what I get for thinking that I was smart. Um... We're gonna fix my mistake real quick. Uh... I am well versed in the Bible. Do not test me. Nothing at all, so clearly Jesus is indifferent. Okay, fine. The Bible says nothing against the Ranger Keeney. Fucking do as you wish. Put your femboy orc followers in the Ranger Keeney armor mod. None of these are words. None of these are words. We are... What I'm saying right now is purely skibbity riz get Ohio brain rot. Ranger Keeney orc femboy. Ugh. I feel my brain leaking out of my ears right now. More importantly, where's this fucking cave? I've been searching. I've been seeking. Been looking all over the damn place. 
There's nary a cave to be found. Maybe over here? We are as God intended. God has made us in his image and we made up those mods, Fennec. Knock, knock. I missed. Don't you deayo me. You did a, you deayo. Teleports behind you, nothing personnel, deayo. I love that when you use unarmed in, I think melee as well. In vats, if the uh, if the enemy moves away from you, you just fucking instant transmission back over to them. Like, nah, it, it's too late. There's no escape. You're not getting out of here. Is that the cave? That looks like the cave. That looks like the cave I need. Two skies cave. That is. You know what? I think this is it. God, I hope this is it. Ow. Hey, Shockwire Cave. Oh, we gotta do a little hacking now. Conducted. Mm -mm -mm. What could it be? Con... not Ed. Conduct... No. Converted... Committee... Alright. There's our allowance back. Um, conducted. Con. Got it. Yes. I'm in. Alright. Is this the right cave? Is this where I need to be right now? Or did I go out of order again? I think the last one we found was 2096? 2083. Yes, this is where we're supposed to be. I wonder what that slur the bad guys here call you mean. I hope it's just foreigner. I know how to say that word in five languages. Uh, one of which is Enwa. Uh, I know at the very least, I always, I always think of Resident Evil 4 first when it comes to stuff like that. Because uh, at least a hundred of the villagers will scream, UN FORASTERO! Uh, as soon as they see you. Uh, but it's time for part two of the survivalist story. Year 2083. May 5th. The comeback goes on. Add prickly pear to list of survivors with honey mesquite and banana yucca. Odd nodules, mutations, but safe to eat. Harvesting oh so careful. Never take more than a fifth. Mouth waters every time I'm about to eat something that isn't from a can. May 7th. Clouds of those stinging flies near fallen tree I call the napper. Little flashes in the cloud. Something dragonfly size that zaps them midair then scoops them up. Something new. May 19th. Bighorn sheep. A family. Ram, ewe, and little one. Fucking god damn it. May 20th. And the sheep were different. Brawny. Ewe had curved horns just like the ram. Seen some tiny lizards, but this is first time seen animals that big. Fingers crossed. 
five to ten years breeding. Fresh meat, hides, horns. I know it's time to go back, Char. When winter has passed. Year 2084. June 14th. Just got back. Tired. Good scrounging along the way. Ended up dragging back a cart of stuff. Right tomorrow. Sleep. June 15th. Departed April 10th. Walked to SLC took 15 days. Would have been 7 and 9 back in the old days, but had to circle pockets of radiation and forged a long way. Don't know what I was thinking. Imagined I'd find my house, dig through rubble, find... something. Your bones, I hoped. And little nuts. Would have buried them. Here in Zion, maybe. SLC is mostly craters. Warped steel girders where high-rises sat. Mounds of bricks. Never found our house. Didn't even find street. What wasn't a crater was scorched clean. Want to believe it was fast. A flash, both of you vaporized. Lies to make me feel better. I'll never know. Which part of city got hit first? Northeast and you both died in a blink. Farther away and you burned alive screaming or the blast broken glass. And bits of brick and wood splinters shredding you like hamburger. Look at it, coward, and listen. Don't turn away, face it. If you'd been brave, lucky man, you would have found a spot and blown your brains out. But not you. You took your time walking back. Made a shopping trip of it. Scrounger. The truck was still there on the 77 north of Spanish Fork. The Chrysler's too, but no sign of the old couple's bones. Outside Nephi, I caught a trail. Three men. Tracks heading toward Fountain Green. Thought about following, but didn't. Stupid fantasy of friends. More likely cannibals. June 20th. Took two days to build door and electrify it. No soliciting assholes. Home sweet fucking home. Year 2095. It's been 11 years since he last wrote. September 20th. I count 28 of them, 11 adult males, 8 females, 9 children aged 2 to 10, some rifles and pistols in bad repair, old world clothes, ratty. September 22nd, got close enough last night to hear them talk, Spanish I think, from Mexico? Heard them say paradiso, a bunch, think that means paradise. Here to stay, then. Seem harmless. Seem. October 5th. The one I call Maria is pregnant. Think the father is Jose, but she spends a lot of time with Pablo, too. October 7th. Pedro ran out to pee in the stream and would have seen me if he looked to his left. Too close. Need to give them space. November 10th. Jose broke his leg chasing a bighorn. Too far from camp for them to hear. Told myself to leave it be but couldn't. 300 yards from their camp did my best Jose screaming imitation until a bunch of them came, looking. Then strung them along to the crest where they could hear the real Jose. Probably useless. Compound fracture. Broke the skin. November 11th. Infection. So many goddamn words nearly the same, think I'd be fluent. But anyway, Jose's leg has got it so he... Bleh. But anyway, Jose's leg has got it so he's going to die. Nature for you. Of course they're giving prayer a try. November 12th. Left bottle of antibiotics on a rock outside their camp last night. They thanked God, Dios. Of course. As though that asshole saw fit to burn the world but still cared enough to leave some medicine on a rock. 
November 15th. Jose will always limp, but otherwise he'll be okay. Good deed for the month. Will they make it through the winter? And that's it for this terminal. Explosives? What do we have in here? I'm guessing explosives, but I don't want to make any assumptions. A baseball egg timer. I'm pretty sure these are uh, supplies you can use to make explosives, but I'm probably not going to. I will take that rat away, though. Thank you, God. I swear to God, I've been irradiated nonstop since the start of the stream. To be fair, I did also go into uh, Searchlight, so that might possibly be on me to some degree. Uh, guess who's back? Back again. Welcome back, Danny Phantom. Follows Chalk. That's a great question. I wonder if we're going to find out. We're also going to take a little nap uh, because I think I got the thing that... Nope, I did not get the thing that cures radiation when you sleep. I will take the survival cache, though. More C4. Detonator. A lot of cells. Alright, then. Back to Stonebones Cave. We're gonna go read the next entry. We might... You know what? Forget the main story of Honest Hearts. We're gonna spend the rest of the stream tonight finishing up the survivalist uh, story. Went the wrong way. Whoops. Good thing this way still leads out. At least I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, here we go. That looks like a way out. Can I get to it? No, but I can get to that. Almost got me. Fuck! <sighs> when will I learn? Uh, anyway, I made sandwiches for everyone, but since nobody can grab... Ah, uh, it's the popcorn all over again. You hate to see it. Did I just circle back around to the... Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> God damn it. I just really wanted to explore the cave. What can I say? Touch that sandwich and I'll kneecap you. Oh, the discourse getting spite spicy today. Nope. Fast travel it is. Back to Stone Bones. And from there, I think I know where the next terminal is. The spitter plants in the green monster. Oh, follows chalk. If if only there were an answer to the question you keep asking me. Where did the spitters and green monster men come from? Oh dear, oh dear. I guess we'll never know. Next terminal time. See, now the survivalist was starting to get into his gamer form. He knew to bring a pillow to sit on when he was on the on his computer here. Year 2096 one. Oh no. Is this Yeah, 2096. This is the next one. 2096 part 1. February 11th. Fuckers killed all the men. I think they would have taken the women alive, but Maria and Selena opened fire, and some of the others went for their guns, so they shot them down and some of the kids with them. If I could have warned them. February 12th. Elena and Carmen and five children still alive, being kept in a pen. There are more than a hundred of these assholes in blue suits. Every suit says 22 on the back. 
Why? Armed to the teeth with submachine guns, pistols. Estimate 60% male. Everyone seems to follow the dark-haired guy, but can't get close enough to tell. Assholes are disciplined. Patrols, sentries, they mean business. Say I go in at night and get the women and children out. Where to next? But I have to get them out. Have to. February 13th. Recon during night. Well organized. Sentries along most approaches. But stream not covered. Are they sick? Lots of coughing fits. Tuberculosis? Women and children still in pen. We'll try to infiltrate by stream tomorrow night. February 14th. They ate them. February 19th. Ambush along Riverside Trail. Six males killed. Heard their coughing a mile away. Used their grenades to booby trap bodies. Kept halved. Secured six M SMGs, 500 rounds of 10 millimeter. Six frags. February 20th. Ambush along Riverside Trail. Two males died checking bodies. Killed two more with rifle. Shot one through calf and let asshole crawl off to spread message. Coughed like I'd shot him through lungs. February 23rd. Ambush half mile east of Cole Pitts Wash. Eight males killed. Year 2096 Part 2. February 28th. Ambush in the Narrows. Six males killed. Took a 10 millimeter through thigh. Steel jacket. Missed femoral. Lucky. Use tourniquet to make sure no blood spattered on rocks back to cave. Have set traps all along entrance passage, but if they find me, it will be a matter of time. Still, 24 confirmed kills in 10 days, at least one third of their combat force. Not bad for an old man. March 2nd. Lucky, 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 lucky. Patrol was small. Three men. Screaming woke me. Point man caught under deadfall. Panic fire ricocheted into the cave. Almost hit me. Crawled forward and killed them all with SMGs. Nearly used frags. Stupid. Finger in pin when remembered ricochets. Leaving at once. No other patrols in area, but they'll be searching narrows for these three. Taking as much food as I can drag with me and heading to cave south. On to the next one. We've got ten minutes and at least one or two more terminals to find. Why can't I, uh, why can't I deactivate? There we go. All right. Where's the next cave? I think it's... I think it's somewhere down by the ranger station. What is going in ch on in chat? Nuh-uh, I made it. Give money. I'm coming. Don't touch that. I'm gonna bite it. Bite it and you'll have no more teeth. I bit it. Okay, okay. What kind of sandwiches? Sandwiches you say I'm in. I have made toasted cheese sandwiches, but I spent all the cheese yesterday, so it's just bread, salami, ketchup, and mayo. Never mind. You're punishing yourself by eating that. Eat the whole thing. <laughs> you say that, but this salami has garlic in it, so I'm a very happy boy. Okay, garlic salami sounds good, though. I'm gonna go get power armor training. I'll be back once I get it. It's literally named after... Hero Mountains, or whatever they're called in English. Huh. Don't know if I'm familiar. Right, but we need to head over here now. See if we can't find the next survivalist cave. I'm pretty sure the next one is the cave by the helicopter. Or the plane, or whatever that crashed. Quick save, because... Things seem to be looking worse than usual. Is this? No. 
I was gonna say, I thought that was an entrance to a cave. I was gonna get really excited. I thought I accidentally just ran head first into it. The salami, I mean, crazy good. Dad will literally not eat any other salami. Fair enough. If it's good salami, it's good salami. I, I, I won't, cannot argue that. Of a Karache. Oh, here we go. I didn't think this was where the cave was, but I'm not complaining. I think we accidentally ran headfirst right into where we needed to go. Which I suppose does have. Oh, shit. Maybe this is the right cave. Did I just not recognize it? Eh, stuff to kill in here, so at least we're not wasting our time. I do believe this is where the next survivalist terminal is, though. Mm, not a lot of not a lot of traps. Oh, up there, I think. This looks good. Oh shit. Yep. Mm, yep. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, 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 wait. Catch these hands. Yeah, baby. All right. Back in the third person. Punch out the plants. I don't think there are any other spore carriers around. God, I hope not. Punch that one right out of the ground. All right, the... Here we go. Now we got traps. I, I disarmed it. It gave me the experience for disarming it. Ah, uh, survivalist, you've broken my bones so many times now. Damn you for being such an interesting and well-written character. I, even after you've broken my bones so many times. I need to know more. You got both of my legs and my arm with one well-placed mind. Oh, you're a tactical genius. I guess I could have just slept it off. Well, don't I look like an idiot? Got a cowboy hat out of it, though, so pros and cons. Fen, what did we conclude about punching plants? That it was a bad idea, but if you're going to know something about me, you need to know that I will literally never learn. You're 2097. January 13th. The coffers are gone, finally. All 34 that still lived ate their dead for strength then struck out southeast. Victory. Ten months of killing. All I feel is cold. They deserved every goddamn bit of it. January 17th. Thought I was dreaming, but the screams were real. For a moment thought they'd tricked me, just pretended to leave Zion, then sent a patrol to track me down. But the screams were a woman's. Edged around corner and passageway to have a look. One vaulter, ankle deep in bear trap. Leveled my SMG, but the way she was crying stopped me. How she screamed when she saw me. Been their boogeyman a long time. Named Sylvie. Claims she ran away from them. Calls them evil people. Children of the devil. Turns out they were sick after all. Something they caught in a vault they lived in. She never came down with it. Yet. So help me, I've wound up being her nurse. January 18th. Her story matches what I learned from my interrogations last year. But according to her, let's just say it was bad to be a woman in that group. So when they left, she slipped away. She knows next to nothing about living outside a vault. Says she wants to learn. Year 2100. September 9th. 
Never been so scared in my life. Canada wasn't scary, just sickening, the criminality of it. The end of the world wasn't scary. When I knew you and Alex were dead, I didn't have anything left to be scared about. I just went on for some reason. I wasn't scared fighting the Vaulters. It was like I kept daring them to finish me. When I killed them, I think it was the closest I came to feeling happy in years. Sylvie is pregnant, and I am terrified. Ridiculous old man. A father again at 47. In this world? She's so excited and so... trusting. Says it's God's will that we have this child. Like nothing can go wrong. You see, Char, she doesn't know about you and Alex. Never told her. Almost did sometimes, but what you and I had, it seemed wrong to share it. More like an old man not wanting his young wife to know how he failed the one who came before her. Hiking into Tokerville for medical books and supplies. This will be done right. I'm sorry, Char. Hope you can forgive me. Year 2101. March 5th. Baby was breech. Would have been a son. Michael. Did my best to turn him. Failed. Must have done Cesarean too late. Had to put Sylvie out and she never woke up. Buried them south of the Narrows. Well... This time I was by their side. So much better. I think I can finally do it. Blow my fucking brains out all over this goddamn cave. On to the next terminal. Uh, Ryan, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. What do you think about the NCR? <sighs> it's a hell of a question. Um... The NCR is the perfect storm of um, trying to carry on an old, dead nation and good intentions uh, crumbling in the face of reality. The NCR on paper would be great, you know, give some law and order some, you know, form back to the world in the apocalypse. But everything about the NCR falls apart when put into practice. The corruption, the overexpansion, you know, the imperialistic idealism that is suddenly, you know, faced with realizing that they are stretched too thin and not everybody wants to be under... I ran in a big circle there. Under NCR rule. If the NCR managed to execute the ideas that it is built around in a better way, I think the NCR would be the best choice possible for New Vegas and the Western United States, the Western Wasteland in general. NCR has many pros and cons, but they're trying their best. A absolutely. Some of them are trying their best. But a lot of the NCR, as proven in this game, a lot of the NCR really is corrupt and only serving their own goals. Is the NCR better than the Legion? Absolutely. I mean, the NCR, like, night and day, is better than the Legion. But are they the best choice for New Vegas? I I don't think so. Because even if they serve their own people and their own goals, I think the residents of New Vegas and the surrounding areas would suffer. Jesus. It's fucked up. Is that how you make small talk? You just want to get that off your chest right now? Yeah, I feel like NCR would have been much better if they didn't expand so aggressively. But, 
that's kind of one of the big problems with the NCR. They think they are the only source of good in the world. So the only way they can save the world is by, you know, expanding and putting everyone else under their thumb. You know, if they... If they had focused on California, really built themselves up before expanding further, that would be one thing. But no, they just decided, ah, let's go east and take everything that isn't nailed down. And, you know... We'll subjugate everyone else, and uh, they can all pay taxes so we can continue to expand even further east. That's not, that's not a good idea. And that's what caused so many issues for the NCR. And I think you hear it from uh, Ranger Andy that they're still struggling in California. The NCR doesn't even have the entirety of California contained and, you know, under control. But here they are in fucking Vegas. You know, I get it. Finding out about Hoover Dam is a game changer. Especially in the apocalypse when power is so hard to come by. But... Look at how much... Feels good. Uh-huh. You're definitely not just following me all over uh, Zion. You're you're really doing your own thing right now. I'm happy for you. Uh Also, I picked up too much stuff, so we're about to eat way too much food. All right. So where are these other lunch boxes? I'm pretty sure the terminal says. Ah, there's one. That's three lunch boxes. Uh, do I see four and five? Where would they be? Behind the counter, maybe? I thought they were behind the counter. Okay, let's let's check the terminal. See where the other the other lunch boxes are. Uh, I thought they were somewhere out in the open. Ah, there's one. And where's the last one, you little rascal? Oh, in the desk. Yeah, that's what I mean. They let ideology overturn logic. Yeah. All right, that's five lunch boxes. Now the last thing we need is at the ranger station. But, uh, who gives a shit? We are still looking for the last survivalist caches. So there's one more cave, and then there's one outside in the overworld. The overworld. The canyon. You know what I mean. I understand we didn't really accomplish a whole lot with the DLC today, mostly because I've been trying to fix the awful this. And I'm still going to keep trying once the stream is over, because I don't want to deal with this in every stream going forward. If I can't fix it, then, well... Sucks, but them's the breaks. I, I do still fully intend to play through all of the DLC regardless. Yes! Alright, here is the last cave. And I believe the last terminal. So at the very least, we're going to find all of the survivalist caches today. Oh boy. More plants. There's always more plants. And already the door. All right, Falls Chalk, you take care of the plants. Uh, as we've discussed, me punching them doesn't work very well. I'm going to go read uh, after I get caught in a bear trap. 
All right, here's the next cache. Mm, that's fine, I'll leave the rest. I don't want to end up over encumbered. You okay? You good? Uh, I was wondering, after the new Vegas streams, are we going to see any of that Dark Souls gameplay? I would love to play Dark Souls on stream. Um, I actually don't have it for PC, though. Uh, if I can ever pick it up, I would love to play Dark Souls. I played through all of them on uh, the PS4. I haven't played them in a while, too, so that could be fun to do. But right now... Let's finish up with the last survivalist terminal, and then we will go find his last entry. Year 2108. August 22nd. Ten sets of tracks half mile northeast of canyon entrance. Barefoot? August 23rd. Saw them through scope. Corpses walking around. Finally gone crazy. Dementia, maybe? August 24th. I'm not crazy. They're real. God damn it, they are real. Rushed me the moment they saw me, snarling like animals. They look like corpses, but don't smell rotted. I'll be putting them out of their misery, doing for them what I could never, what I never could for myself. September 3rd. The last of them. All gone. Year 2113. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, you useless old dinosaur. Happy birthday to me. Happy 60th. What do you get a man who has everything? A bottle of whiskey and a 12-gauge slug through the roof of the mouth. Woo! Come now. What do I have to do to prove to myself that I've lived long enough? I'm a shriveled old man. White beard. Seen enough sunrises and sunsets. Saw the big sunset. Been hanging on through the long night 36 years now. Ridiculous. Not kidding myself into thinking there's anything on the other side of this. Fine. Things weren't so bad before I was born. Char and Alex. Sylvie and Michael who could have been. Thoughts of the beloved dead before dying. Goodbye, Zion. February 6th. Fucking didn't do it. Coward as usual. Maybe two bottles next year. Year 2123. April 25th, 24 of them, half boys, half girls. Youngest is eight, maybe. Oldest, 13 to 14. Dirty and scrawny, been on foot a long time. Children's crusade. Struck camp on nearly the same spot as Los Mexicanos, 30 years and a lifetime ago. I've spent two nights listening to them. English, literate. One of them reads stories while the little ones fall asleep. They escaped some place they called the school, but can't figure out where it was. When they want a little one to behave, they tell him to stop or the principal will get you. Principal better not show up or I'll blow his goddamn head off. I can still shoot straight. All right, last terminal. Let's go find the last entry and the last cache. Did I grab everything out of here? Oh, right, I left the explosives because I don't want to be over encumbered. I'm already going to have an issue when I get to the last cache because there's definitely something in there I'm taking. Fuck, where's the... Where? Oh! Look at you go, follows Chuck. Didn't think you had it in you. God, 
one more time outside. We're gonna do our best. We just have to make it to the last cache and we'll call it a stream. Uh. Here we go. Right into another fight. Um. Wait, can you not stream from PS4? Uh. I wouldn't be able to in the same way or with the same quality. Not without a huge pain in the ass. Alright, I believe. Right over there. Southeast. Oh! Southeast or south is where I need to go. I'm gonna do what I can to get there. Uh, Fenix, have you watched the new Fallout show? I'm I'm very familiar with it from how he reacts. Yes, and he's not happy with it. Why? It's the same issue that every adaptation has in that you can tell the show was pitched and written and worked on by people that didn't know the first fucking thing about Fallout and did not care to learn the first thing about Fallout. It's a cash grab and it is a soulless attempt at turning Fallout into a series with no respect for what Fallout is actually supposed to be. They wanted to turn it into a Fallout, you know, family drama where the end-all, be-all bad guy is vault Tech because, you know, vault Tech, they do the bad things. What... What is happening? Why am I getting air notifications? Out of memory. You're fucking kidding me. Um... Okay, so I did recently quick save. No, we're getting that last survivalist cache tonight. I don't care. I'm loading back up as we speak. Cannot believe this. Um. Okay. You know, let's... Let's see what happens here. Quality after the last stream in this economy, I may have called it Scuff King Phoenix. Not every stream is like this. There's nothing I can do to make, you know, the the internal bits of New Vegas stop being New Vegas. I will say, as long as I live, this is the best game ever. But yeah, sometimes there's an issue or two. These things happen. We just need to make it up there. Oh, hey. Listen, I, I really don't have the time. Can you take it up with Follows Chalk? I'm sure... Yeah, listen. They'd love to tell you all about it. I, I think that dead horse is just stuck in the wall forever. That's an unfortunate way to go. I guess not the worst way to go in the Fallout world, but hey. Uh, it's all about perspective. Word? Literally, this is just a New Vegas thing. You can go watch any of the previous streams. They are all available on Archive on my channel. You can go look. This is not how things usually go. Alright, now where is, I think, I think it'll be on one of the location markers, so I don't really need to do a lot of guesswork here. Um, is it over here? Mm, doesn't look right. Hello? Oh, Gecko. God, it is so fucking hard trying to find a location with the world doing this shit. Um, just in case, we're gonna up 
our lock pick again and a little bit into science sneak is gonna be for dead money so i'm not too worried about it right now uh and what perk do we want Gracious reader damage books you pick up become blank magazines which you can use to it copy your existing skill mags. Oh. I don't really want that, though, because I want to save um, damaged books for Old World Blues. Um, Explorer, that could be a good one. That could be a really good one, actually. Oh, but Paralyzing Palm. Oh, but you have to be completely unarmed for that. Tag would be nice silent running oh uh, there are a lot of good choices here robotics expert that's going to be really important in old world blues but not something i need at the moment um we've got we've got a lot of well not a lot but we still have more than a few perks to take so right now i think i want to take explorer i think that's gonna do a lot of good for me Those, um, what? speaking of the red gate this is where i need to go Did you call them? that is why i took explorer going to be than signal drums and smoke signs. well here's one thing i don't understand you oh my fuck i did what killed me? I mean, like, I quick saved a few seconds ago. Oh, yeah. I was in the middle of a fight, wasn't I? And I have no health. Uh, whoopsie daisy. I, uh, my bad. So we're gonna explore and we are gonna heal. And then we're gonna head over to the red gate. Impact. I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me. Can't wait. Where's the enemy that killed me? There's nothing here. What? Nothing killed me. <laughs> yeah, there's a dead gecko down here. Nothing killed me. Uh, I did see... Message retracted. Alright. I was gonna say, I saw something about the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, and I know there is... Like, it's very difficult to do. But there is a way to keep the Brotherhood of Steel alive, I think, in like, one or two endings. It's really not worth it, though. Uh, terrifying presence for the funny dialogue options next time. You are not beating the scuff allegations. Do we tell him, chat? Uh, what, what killed me? Did I get poisoned? I might have gotten poisoned at some point, actually. Maybe it's just because I didn't heal and I got poisoned. Alright, but we need to get up there and we will get our last entry for the survivalist. Now, how the fuck do I get up there? One last entry for the survivalist. And then we're done. Oh, God, that's a Cazador. Nope. Follows Chuck. Big dog, that's all you. I want nothing to do with the Cazador. Uh, I'm just here for this. It is... Qu oh, God damn it. That's not a Cazador, that is a giant mantis. Um, oh boy. Okay, we gotta deal with this before we can read our last entry. Bitter drink. Bubblegum, cram, dandy boy, everything. I'm eating all of it. Dark Datura, poison the fist. Insta mash. Some Nuka-Cola. 
purified water, Salisbury steak, and a stim pack to wash it all down. All right, after being so rudely interrupted, we have our last survivalist entry. And my personal favorite gun, the survivalist rifle. This is what I wanted. Year 2124, January 2nd. I've been leaving notes for them and gifts. They like the books. Started with stories, but moved on to weapons manuals, medical books, practical stuff. In the notes, well, it's almost, em or it's embarrassing, almost like those cards people used to give to each other. Everything's sweet and loving. I tell them to read and to learn and to make the most of their new home. I tell them that I'm giving them Zion as a gift to make up for all the sorrows of their lives so far, and all the sorrows man has visited on man. I tell them to be kind to each other and modest. I tell them never to hurt each other, but if someone comes along and tries to hurt them, to strike back with righteous anger. Stuff like that. I sign every note, the father, because, well... Just because. January 18th. Fuck. January 18th. Have I mentioned that I'm dying? Mine's still sharp. Lungs are the problem. Might be cancer. Cough's been getting worse for months. Finally, there's blood in it. Getting harder to visit my little friends. Breath's so short. I've given away most of what I own. They'll find the rest in the caves when they get a little older. I don't want them to find me, though. The father is a broke-down old man. Disappointment. It's time. I don't want another birthday. January 23rd. It's cold enough that I won't last long on the high mound up next to Redgate. I think I've got enough breath left in me to make it. I'll just lie down and stare at the sky. Feels right. I hope they'll do well. I hope no harm comes to them, from within or without. Did my best to prepare them with the last few notes. Said something kind about each one of them. What makes each one special? told them the father was pleased by their kind natures and that it would be up to them to handle things on their own from now on. That I'd be silent, but still watching and still caring. Lying, then. Oh, yes. Lied to you, Char. And Alex. And Sylvie. Told you I'd be with you forever. But I wouldn't go back and unsay it once if I could. What was the point of it all? So many failures. But I never forgot your face. Or Little Nuts. Or, sorry, Sylvie's. They used to say that happened after a while, but it never did for me. Maybe the only point of all this living was to keep those pictures in my head going for as long as I could. It was the only life I could give you. Not a day went by without. It wasn't choice. I chose to die again and again. Just never did. Body had its own drive. Well, the little ones will need it. Species will need it if it's to continue. That blind drive onward. I wish them well. It's been a gift to me, at the end of it all, to behold innocence. Goodbye, Zion. Randall Dean Clark, 
February 5th, 2053 to January 2024. And with that, I believe we are going to call it a stream for the day. It has not been the smoothest. It has not been the prettiest. It has not been the easiest. But we're back to New Vegas. And I'm going to continue to try and fix it, make it better, do what I can to fix this Z fighting issue. But... I'm glad, I really am glad today, at the very least, we got to go through the entire survivalist story. I think Randall Dean Clark is one of the, if not the best NPC characters in all of Fallout, and easily the best one that we never meet. I love the survivalist story. I really think the survivalist and Joshua are the best parts of Honest Hearts. I didn't appreciate this DLC when I was young, when I played it for the first time. And going back through now, like, it really is special. But we will be back again tomorrow from 5 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with more Fallout New Vegas and more of Honest Hearts. Possibly finishing this and getting into Old World Blues. <clears throat> Everyone, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for continuing to support me in my streams. I hope to see you all again at another stream very soon. And I hope you all have a fantastic night.